G'day, I'm Steve Rogers from TIG Integrity. Uh, we manufacture um, and fabricate marine components and so on, and marine welding and that kind of thing, stainless steel fabrication. But look, this is the new um, Raymarine Axiom RV100 transducer. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're making a, we've made a guard to suit that, a spray guard, because of the, obviously because of the length. Um, a lot of these will spray up uh, water um, under, when the boat's underway and um, that, that water obviously gets in the back of the boat and it's a bit aggravating all over the engine with that salt water or even potentially getting sucked back into the motor as it all sprays up so just created a, a, a spray deflector to, to stop that happening and, uh, and obviously you can use whatever you want a bit of plastic, a bit of thing you bend up in your shed or whatever but um, I've just created some guards that look nice uh, all highly polished, all 316 stainless, and uh, they do the job. Um, yeah, so what I've basically done, I've got mocked up a, a transom here with angles on it. You know, obviously some transoms will sit straight, straight up, some are angled. I've just created this mock-up little transom here. This transducer, I bought the bracket because I can't afford the whole thing, and it's not necessarily because the uh, transducer itself only just sits a little bit lower than that uh, under here. So. That's just the bracket here, but the transducer is pretty much close to close to those um, the same measurements. Okay, so um, this this bracket is designed to be bolted to the existing hardware rather than screwed and creating more holes into the transom, which people don't want don't want any more holes being drilled into everywhere. So this has been designed to suit these bolts here already, so it saves you having to do that. Um, the guard also is used to protect the transducer because these are all plastic nowadays and you know, people will pass, crack them um, and the guard also just acts as a little bit more protection from that um, that's because they stick out so far these days with how long they are alright well, let's install it so um, firstly you've got it set up as your transom is however it is whether straight or what a bit, most of them are on a bit of an angle parallel with the with the sea which um, you know, you would have already worked that out. Um, so basically you want to be able to support that so it doesn't, it doesn't fall anywhere because once you take this bolt out, you don't want your, your transducer falling on the floor. So, you know, just support it somehow. I've got my knee on here. So un undo your bolt, the main bolt. And little brackets here I've, I've made. So they go, th they go um, put your bolt through the bracket, back through the hole. Got your main bolt. Okay, do what you might do that up. Obviously, well, you probably don't want to crank it up with your spanner at this moment because um, yeah, you might you might uh, you might have to adjust these. So just no, that's, that's supporting anyway. So put them up sort of level, and simply there's your guard, and that's like I said, all polished up. 316 grade um, and just gets bolted to the, that little guard with these little M6 bolts which are all provided so you don't have to provide anything or buy anything. Um, you just need an Allen key and a 10mm spanner, 10mm spanner. Um, so put your, put your little bolts through the, the holes and bolt it to those little guards. You have little nylon bolts with your packet as well. To go on. Okay. And then do up your bolts. And what basically you've done, you just bolted the guards to the little brackets that I've created. So I've got little plastic washers there just so I'm just not damaging this. This particular one, you know, because sometimes that little bolt just scratches the surface of the stainless, and I want to present it to the customer flawless. So I've just got little packets in there just to stop that. So do them up. Probably be easier if you looked underneath, but there you go. It's up. So that's it. There's your guard. Um, I could keep doing them up a little bit tighter. 
but um, just take out that little bit of slot that I'm going to bore you with that. And um, we have other, so that's it, yeah, basically uh, covering up well, good, well coverage and it looks good too. So it's well covered. Um, no spray is going to get, no spray is going to get um, under there. I mean, the angle, if you, if you, if you, it's, it's well covered with these little fins down here. The spray is not going to be heading up, if you get the idea. See that? Okay, so. Uh, what else? Um, so yeah, we have other popular models available. You can just look on YouTube under spray deflector um, and you'll see different models available um, to suit specific transducers. I make them so that they're not, they're just not a big plate. They're not ugly, they're made to suit that particular transducer. But if you search on there, you'll, you'll find three or four other videos, five videos, um, with all different, different models. Um, basically, Cost-wise, they're $150 Australian, including shipping to the US, and about $125 within Australia. Um, around the world, it seems to be the same sort of price as US, $150. Uh, but obviously, just check with me first. But, but generally, you're not paying any more than $150 Australian. Uh, paid by PayPal, um, or, or, or Visa card, or American Express credit card. We have those facilities as well. Um, if you need to contact me, my email is tigintegrity, or lowercase, tigintegrity at bigpond.com, and my phone number is 0439 736. So yeah, there's some ways um, you need to contact us. Um, well, I hope you get the idea, hope that makes sense, um, hope that's a, you got the idea of, of how it works and so on, and how easy it is to put in. So um, yeah, appreciate appreciate you watching.